pernah Namun kau yang terindah Hanya kau yang termegah Walau walau badai menghadang Dan bumi pun bergoncang Namun kau yang setia Menjagaku selamanya Sungguh nyata kasihmu Di sepanjang hidupku Dengan darahmu Kau tebus dosaku Sungguh nyata kasihmu Di sepanjang hidupku Senap hatiku Hanyalah untukmu Walau badai, walau badai menghadang Dan bumi pun bergoncang Namun kau yang setia Dan jagaku selamanya Kasihmu di sepanjang hidupku dengan darahmu kau tebus dosaku sungguh nyata kasihmu di sepanjang hidupku segenap hatiku hanyalah untukmu sungguh sungguh nyata kasihmu di sepanjang hidupku dengan darahmu kau tebus dosaku Sungguh nyata kasihmu di sepanjang hidupku Senap hatiku hanyalah untukmu Sungguh, sungguh nyata kasihmu di sepanjang hidupku Senap hatiku Sungguh nyata kasihmu di sepanjang hidupku Senap hatiku hanyalah untukmu Senap, senap hatiku hanyalah untukmu Senap hatiku hanyalah untukmu Just want to declare that you are faithful, Lord Jesus, that you are good, honey. In the middle of our troubles, Lord Jesus, you are good. In the middle of lockdown, you are good, Lord Jesus. In the middle of everything, you are good, honey. Teach us to taste and see, Lord Jesus, that you are good. Teach us to taste on your goodness every single morning, Lord Jesus. And now we come to your presence, Lord Jesus. I want to keep declaring your goodness. I want to keep declaring everything we're going through in the middle of the fire, in the middle of our lockdown, in the middle of our misery, Tuhan, that you're still good, Tuhan. We pray and we believe, Tuhan, that you come and meet us in the middle of everything, Tuhan. We open up our hearts to you, Tuhan. Pray that you come and do what only you can do, Lord Jesus. As we worship, as we open up our hearts to you, Lord Jesus.
Jujur kadang ku tak sanggup Menghadapi semua bebanku Menantikan jawaban Menolak untuk menyerah Ku tahu kau Tuhan yang sanggup Menolong dalam sesatku Namun meskipun kau belum Kan tetap menyembahmu Ku kan bernyanyi Sampai jiwaku percaya Sampai hatiku mendengar Lagu pengharapan Ku kan berserah Ku tahu aku tak sendiri Ku yakin kau mengasihi Akan di dalam api Ku kan menyembahmu Kan menyembahmu Kan menyembahmu Jujur Jujur kadang aku lalai Bersandar pada kekuatan Dalam kelemahanku Sempurnalah kuasamu Imanku memegang janjimu Ku tahu, ku tahu kau selalu bersama dalam dalam setiap perkara kau lah damai terangku bukan bernyanyi sampai jiwaku percaya Sampai hatiku mendengar Lagu pengharapan oh, Ku tahu kau sanggup Dan aku tak pernah Bahkan di dalam api
lagu pengharapan Ku tahu kau sanggup Dan aku tak pernah Di dalam api pun Bahkan di dalam api pun Bahkan di dalam api pun Kan menyembahmu This our confession We can't do without you, Lord Even if it hurts Even if it feels like hell You never leave, you always close There is a grace when my heart is on fire It's another way when the walls are closing in Hati terasa berat Entah seorang pun mengerti bebanku Ku tanya Yesus Apa yang harus ku buat Dia berfirman, mari datanglah Dia, dia selalu pedulikan aku Ku datang Yesus Dia piku segala bebanku Jut di altarnya Ku bawa hidupku Ku terima anugerahnya Dia ampuniku dan bebaskanku Dia ubah hidupku Mahrui hatiku Sesuatu terjadi Saat datang di altarnya I 
that one more time. Terasa berat Seorang pun mengerti bebanku Ku tanya Yesus Apa yang harus ku buat Dia berfirman Mari datanglah Dia selalu Berdulikan aku Ku datang Yesus Dia pikul segala Bebanku Altarnya Ku bawa hidupku Ku terima anugahnya Ya ampuni ku Dan bebaskan ku Ubah hidupku Baru di hatiku Sesuatu terjadi Saat datang di altarnya Bebaskanku Dia ubah hidupku Baru di hatiku Sesuatu terjadi Saat datang Altarnya Sesuatu Terjadi Saat datang Di altarnya Altarnya Sesuatu Terjadi Sesuatu Terjadi Sesuatu Terjadi Saat datang di altar datang Tuhan pagi hari ini Tuhan expectant Lord Jesus 
come with an open heart, Lord Jesus. We come with an expectant heart, Tuhan. Ya Tuhan yang hold our hearts, Lord Jesus. This broken, tired, hurting, Lord Jesus. Heart. Let you come and do what only you can do, Lord Jesus. But above all, Lord Jesus, biar Tuhan yang datang, Tuhan yang berdiam di hati kami, Tuhan. Do what only you can do, Lord Jesus. As we open up, as we come with expectant hearts, Lord Jesus. As we proclaim your goodness, Tuhan. As we proclaim that Kau mengerti, Tuhan. Kau mengerti uban kami, Tuhan. And you're never far away, that you're always close, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Kalau setelah kamu dengar firmanmu, Tuhan, Lord Jesus, bless Kodenis, Tuhan. That you use him, Lord Jesus, to deliver your message, Tuhan. To deliver your heart, Tuhan, with pinpoint accuracy, Tuhan. And bless us. everyone here yang listens, Tuhan. Berapun yang ditabur, Tuhan, bila sia-sia, Tuhan, bisa bertumbuh, berbuah lebat, Tuhan. Berakar, Tuhan, dalam hidup kami, Tuhan. As we pray, Lord Jesus, that these songs not become just songs, Lord, but becomes songs of confession, Tuhan. Biar Tuhan yang take our worship, take our confession, Tuhan. Biar Tuhan yang turn it into strength, turn it into peace and joy, Lord Jesus. We thank you, we thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you, we thank you. And only in your beautiful and wonderful and powerful name, Jesus Christ, we have prayed. And everybody who believes says, Amen, Amen, Amen. Say tune to your screen, guys, for a few announcements. Hi guys, happy Sunday! Thank you for tuning into our online service. The Bible says that you will be enriched in every way so that you can always be generous because it is more blessed to give than it is to receive. So let's put our generosity into practice as God has encouraged us to do and give our best to our offering that you can now transfer online to the bank account details on your screen. Join us for our prayer night every Tuesday at 7 p.m. and don't miss out on our family community every Friday night at 7 p.m. And if you're interested to join, feel free to contact any of our FC leaders on your screen. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow our social media for more updates. Enjoy the rest of the service, guys. See ya! All right, selamat datang di Church at Zoom episode 1351. I'm like, I don't even know what episode this is. Uh, kita ada... Um, dua juta hari lagi sampai um, um, kita punya restriction is <laughs> bagi kalian yang sudah muak sama restrictions stay in the uh, just just be patient a bit be patient a bit hey anyhow aku udah um, dua minggu rest udah sabatikal dua minggu karena minggu lalu kita tur in ke sisi minggu lalu sebelumnya ada um, our brother yang share Dennis it was so awesome dan karena aku dua minggu nggak 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 mengutarakan apa yang ada di hatiku so I, I just wanna warn you guys just, I'm just gonna bleh, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna vomit this sermon today so you better you better be ready um so uh, anyhow sebelum aku masuk ke kita punya uh, message untuk um, hari ini aku mau remind um, kalian um, so we have this initiative sama yang kerjasama sama atmosfer Um, Indo juga. So basically, it's 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 an initiative for the whole atmosphere family. Di mana kita wanna put a spotlight on a uh, a specific social issue. Um, um, minggu eh, bulan ini kita mau fokus ke uh, Beirut, Lebanon yang kemarin itu um, meledak. And if I'm not mistaken, baru ada ledakan lagi di di di, di Beirut. So that that's 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 horrible. So we wanna do what we can to you know okay, raise the awareness atau apapun kalau misalnya Tuhan menggerakkan kita menggerakkan kamu untuk memberi please do that um, if you need further information just go to atmosphere impact di Instagram and you'll find all the information that you need what's happening di sana dan um, gimana cara ini bisa bantu even even clicking that share button helps so if that uh, you know uh, Tuhan menggerakkan hati you please do that anyhow without further ado Aku mau masuk ke kita punya passage for today. Aku mau kita semua ke John 2. 
ayat 1 sampai 11. This is a passage yang aku yakin kalian semua udah tahu. This is about Jesus um, um, uh, uh, rubah water into wine. Oke, okay. John 2 ayat 1 sampai 11. On the third day, a wedding took place at Cana in Galilee. Jesus' mother was there. And Jesus and his disciples had been also had also been invited to the wedding. When the wine was gone, Jesus' mother said to him, They have no more wine. Abis itu Jesus bilang, Woman, why do you involve me? Now, pause. Aku tahu ada beberapa preacher yang suka make jokes di sini, kalau misalnya Jesus bilang, Woman, right? Kayak, it's enggak sopan bilang woman. Tapi sebenarnya pada zaman itu, it was actually a polite way of um, talking to your uh, mother atau talking to someone Um, someone else. Jadi it's it's actually normal untuk Jesus untuk say this. Jadi ini bukan kayak Jesus being condescending gitu loh. So woman, why do you involve me? Jesus replied, My hour has not yet come. His mother said to his servant, His mother said to the servants, Do whatever he tells you. And then nearby stood six stone of water jars, the kind used by the Jews for ceremonial washing, each holding from 20 to 30 gallons. And then Jesus said to the servants, Fill the jars with water. So they filled them to the brim. Then he then he told them, "Now draw some out and take it to the master of the banquet." They did so, and the master of the banquet tasted the water that had been turned into wine. He did not realize where it had come from, though he, though the servants who had drawn who had drawn who had drawn the water knew. Then he called the bridegroom aside and said, "Everyone." Everyone brings out of the cho- out of uh, out the choice wine first, and then the cheaper wine after the guests have had too much to drink. But you save the best till now. What Jesus did here in Cana of Galilee was the first signs through which he revealed his glory, and his disciples believed in him. So I want to talk from this subject: Why am I running empty? Why am I? running empty. Let's put on our heads and pray. Jesus, help us to understand why we are running empty. Amen. Okay. Cepat ya, sedo ini. Um, so, I don't know if you guys noticed, but there's another kind of pandemic, the blue marble called Earth, another silent killer yang belum ada legitimate vaksinnya. What pandemic am I talking about? It's called emotional pandemic. Emotional pandemic. Dan pandemic ini attacks all kinds of people. It doesn't discriminate. Mau kata you tua, you muda, you kaya, you kere, you, ce- you cowok, you cewek, single, married. This this pandemic is an equal opportunist. Dan 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 here's the thing about COVID ya, yang I, I learned. Um, COVID uh, uh, pandemic. This 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 COVID thing it simply exposes and accelerates apa yang udah ada di dalam kita. It it doesn't create. It simply exposes and accelerates. Dan 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 ini yang aku notice juga. Gak gak semua orang yang infected sama COVID dia show the symptoms. Ada yang ada yang asy ada yang asy asymptomatic sih. Asim asymptom. Ya, pokoknya yang, yang ada yang gak ada symptom, right? <laughs> okay, so. Dan enggak semua orang yang infected sama emotional pandemic have symptoms as well. They can sound confident tapi have anxiety. They can smile and make jokes tapi have depression. They can have everything tapi feel nothing. Right? Right? So so untuk beberapa minggu ke depan uh, I want to talk about this. So, since since um bulan ini it's an are you okay month. Uh, well, actually Kayak Rabu kemarin ya, baru kayak Ari OK Month, eh Ari OK Day. So I wanna talk about untuk beberapa minggu depan aku aku wanna talk I wanna talk about this emotional state that we are in. And I wanna type up for the rest of this month kita bakal title sermon kita bakal kayak Why am I dot 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 Why am I fill fill in the blanks. So untuk hari ini Why am I running empty? Okay. So So to give you some context di passage di passage kita hari ini ini early days of Jesus ministry. Dia bahkan belum punya all 12 disciples, kayak baru setengah ngumpul, right? So terus Jesus diundang datang ke acara nikahannya orang. Now, acara pernikahan orang Israel pada zaman itu itu kayak acara pernikahan orang-orang Batak zaman sekarang. Nah, ada orang Batak kan di sini, ada Jawa kan? It's a long wedding. Mereka 
It's like like it's a seven day long festivity. Dan acara itu bukan yang kusyuk-kusyuk itu kayak it's like full on party acara acaranya orang Israel zaman dulu. Kayak mereka party, tidur, bangun, party lagi, tidur, bangun, party lagi. Udah. Segitu gitu terus it's seven weeks. Party, bangun, tidur, party, ba- eh bangun, party, tidur, bangun, party, tidur. For for seven days mereka kayak gitu. Aku enggak tahu kalian gimana ya, but I want to see Jesus at the party. I want to see Jesus at the, at the party. Like oh Kalau misalnya, you wanna see Jesus at the party, at a, at a party, nonton The Chosen episode 5. That was Jesus at a party. Itu Jesus lagi di, um, yang yang di passage ini, di, di um, John 2. Um, <laughs> um, so, anyhow. So, and then, and then the Bible says, Jesus lagi chilling, Jesus lagi relaxing, and terus datang maminya, ah! Mary, Mary kayak, fire, fire, pass on fire. Jesus, uh, Mary, Mary kayak, Jesus! They have no wine. Jesus, they have no wine. I, I want you, to, I want you guys to catch this ya. Yeah. Mereka ada di wedding, tapi mereka ran out of wine. Y'all missed it. Mereka di wedding, tapi ran out of wine. You're at a we- you're at a at a wedding, tapi you lost your wine. You're at a place di mana seharusnya you have a plethora of wine, tapi you ran out of wine. You akhirnya kelar kuliah, tapi you ran out of wine. You finally got your dream job, tapi you ran out of wine. You sing all the right songs, tapi the worship is gone. You you go to church just because there's nowhere to go. So, Mary kayak, Jesus, they have no more wine. Terus Jesus kayak, why do you involve me? Like, apa hubungannya anggur ini sama aku? Aku, I know you know that I'm the savior of the world. Tapi apa hubungannya anggur ini, anggur yang habis ini sama aku? Apa hubungannya ini sama aku yang harus menebus dosa manusia? Mami, segitu pentingkah anggur ini? Jesus basic, basic, basic bilang kayak gitu. Jesus bilang dua hal yang aku mau kalian nangkap. Pertama, dia bilang Why do you involve me? Which means this doesn't matter to me as much as it matters to you. You are so caught up in this sampai you're so upset about this. Tapi Tuhan tetap ikut campur tangan. So 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 catch this. So Jesus kayak walaupun itu enggak seberapa penting buat aku, tapi karena kamu penting buat aku, aku jadikan itu penting buat aku. Woo! Yo mister. Walaupun itu enggak seberapa penting buat aku, tapi karena kamu penting buat aku, aku jadiin itu penting buat aku. Ada beberapa hal yang Jesus bakal ikut campur tangan bukan karena hal itu penting buat dia tapi karena kamu penting buat dia since you matter to me let me intervene since you matter to me I'm gonna step in terus ini yang Jesus bilang itu yang pertama yang kedua Jesus bilang begini my hour has not yet come mami dia nggak bilang mami tapi that's what I imagine it my hour has not yet come meaning Semuanya ada waktunya sendiri. Ada waktunya kapan aku harus reveal who I am. Ada waktunya kapan aku harus reveal what I'm capable of. Ada waktunya aku kapan harus reveal why I'm here. But today is not it. This is not it. Woman, mommy. So satu yang pertama adalah dia nggak this, uh, this this wine running out nggak terlalu penting buat Jesus. Yang kedua adalah Mary minta Jesus untuk speed things up. My hour has not yet come. Mary minta Jesus untuk speed things up. Tapi Mary punya iman yang segitu besarnya, she goes, whatever he tells you to do, do it. I don't know about you, but I want some Mary faith. Begitu I, begitu I make my request known to him, I'll, I'm gonna walk off to it, I'm gonna walk off from it, I'm gonna tell the sermon. Whatever he tells you to do, do it, Mary bilang itu. It might look crazy, but do it. It might look stupid, but do it. It doesn't make sense, but just do it. Nike has a point. Just do it. Give me some merry faith. Jesus bahkan, Jesus bahkan gak kasih tahu what he's gonna do or whether he's gonna do it. Tapi Mary punya iman yang begitu besar sampai dia bilang, if I ask you for something, I know you're working in the background. If I ask you for something, I know you're already doing something. Even I, if you're 
bahkan walaupun aku nggak lihat, I know that you're working in the background. Even when I don't see it, even when I don't feel it, I know you're working. You don't want me to sing Waymaker because Ardi bakal keluar dari Zoom meeting ini. No, nope, you don't want us. You don't want me to sing Waymaker, right? Begitu, <laughs> begitu you udah ask him walk off from it. Begitu you udah make your request known to the only guy who who can fix it, walk off from it. Begitu you gotta pray about it, walk off from it. I don't know who it is for, yeah. But whatever you've been worried about, God said, walk away. It's already done. Walk away. It's already done. Walk away. It's already done. Walk off from it. Terus, terus, oh, what? oh my God, Mary. I love Mary. Mary bilang begini, what? Mary bilang, whatever. Whatever he tells you to do, do it. Kata pertamanya apa? Mary, Mary bilang apa? Mary bilang, whatever. Whatever he tells you to do, do it. Here's, here's my question to you. Do you have the faith for whatever when you're worried about what is? Do you have the faith for whatever when you're worried about what is? Karena Mary nggak kasih tahu. Karena Mary nggak kasih tahu Jesus how to solve this issue. Mary cuma kasih tahu there was an issue. Waktu waktu kita pray for a miracle. Did you did you want to customize your miracle like Micah's BYO burger? Whatever he tells you to do, do it, kata Mary. This this ini yang luar biasa. And I, I, I don't want you guys to miss this. Jesus sped up. Kita tahu Jesus akhirnya sped up the process, right? Jesus sped up the process. Tuhan bilang, Jesus bilang, my hour has not yet come, and and yet he still did it. So Jesus sped up the process. Bukan karena dia takut sama Mary, bukan karena dia tunduk sama Mary, tapi karena dia sayang sama Mary. Mary, Mom, I plan on doing this later, but since I love you 3000, I know you guys hate that song, but I love that song, so deal with it. I'm gonna move up the schedule because I love you. It, I'm gonna I'm gonna speed things up because I love you. This doesn't This is not that important to me, but I'm gonna speed things up. It, isn't this what Jesus did buat Shardak Mesak and Ebenego? Right? Di, di Daniel 3, yang mere, mereka mereka gak mau bow down sama King, King Nebuchadnezzar, King Nebi punya um, um, golden statue, terus um, Shardak Mesak and Ebenego bilang, our God is able, he will deliver us, but even if he doesn't, terus King, King Nebi kayak throw him in a barbecue, Right in the fire furnace. Because all of a sudden, King, King Nebuchadnezzar bilang, "Oh my God, I see a fourth man in the fire." Terus dia bilang, "That that one looks like the son of God." Well, guess what, King Nebi? It was the son of God. It, it was the son of God. Jesus was not supposed to show up yet. It's not his time. Tapi karena their faith, karena their fireproof faith, Jesus smoothed up the schedule. If you only knew the things he moved up just for you, you would praise him. If you only knew the things he sped, th- he sped up just for you, you would praise him. If you only knew the things dia kirim pak- pakai one day shippingnya Amazon just for you, you would praise him. If you only knew the thing that he dropped on your in, on your doorstep, you would be praising him right now. If you're still waiting, it's in transit, baby. It's coming, boo boo. Don't worry about it. It's coming. Just walk off from it. It's coming. And then, and then the Bible says, I love this so much. Then the Bible says, di dekat situ ada six jars of water, eh, six, six six water jars yang biasa dipakai untuk um, um, kobokan kaki um, mereka, untuk kobokan tangan mereka. Like ini jars yang nggak penting, basically, right? It's replaceable. It ha- it has no value. Tapi Jesus said to the servants, and this is powerful, you don't, don't miss this. Jesus bilang, fill up the jars with water. Untung aja servants-nya nah, kayak, so um, Jesus, um, masalahnya ya, kita kehabisan um, anggur, bukan air kobokan. Um, kita kehabisan wine, uh, not water. Not water, because since I have a few um, Sing- uh, Singaporean people sini, I'm gonna drop a few English here and there. Tapi Jesus bilang, no, 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 I want you to isi aja jarnya, right? 
yang yang isi aja jarnya pakai water, isi aja jarnya yang udah ada di rumah ini, right, with water. In other words, Jesus bilang, I can already use what's in your house. I can use what's already in your house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That thing yang orang-orang pass by, I can use that. That thing yang orang-orang kira nggak penting, I can use that. That thing yang orang-orang kira replaceable, that has no value, I can use it. I can use what's already in your house. See, God doesn't need to give you something new to do something different. <laughs> God doesn't need to do something new. God doesn't have to. Do, God doesn't have to give you something new to do something different. Ini yang ini yang ini yang Tuhan lakuin uh, Moses, right? Moses kayak nanya waktu dia um, dihadapin sama um, the the Red Sea and then di, 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 dikejar sama Pharaoh and the, all, all the chariots. Moses kayak bilang apa yang harus dilakuin Tuhan? Just God's like what's in your hands? Just a stick. Moses bilang you pikir itu cuma stick. But with my power, I'm gonna use it to part the Red Sea. Well, waktu murid-muridnya Jesus bilang, "Eh, hey, Jesus, send them home. We have you udah, kela- udah kelamaan khotbah. Orang-orang pada udah pada kelapar. Just send them home." Terus, terus Tuhan bilang, um, "Ya, yeah, you feed them. You feed them." Terus, terus mereka kayak, "Oh, feed them with what? Kita cuma ada lima ratus dua ikan. Tapi di tangan Tuhan, right? You pikir itu cuma lunch, cuma cuma." You pikir itu cuma buat lunch itu bocah, tapi with my power I'm gonna use it to feed 5,000 people. What's in your house? What's already in your house? There's always something yang Tuhan bisa pakai. Something that's already inside of you. Something that's already um, udah ada. Something that you thought was useless. Something that you thought have no value. He's gonna use it all. He doesn't waste a season. He doesn't need to give you something new to do something different. And then, just notice, um, John, John, John kasih tahu kita details yang menurutku agak lumayan TMI, too much info. Dia bilang, di situ ada jars, ada enam. Bukan cuma enam gelas, enam something, tapi dia bilang six stones of jars. Six stones of jars. So, I did some research, right? Satu stone of jar itu sekitar 75 sampai 120 liter. So, ini minumanku kali 70 sampai 100. Nih. One stone one stone of this is 70 kali ini sampai 100 kalinya ini. That's like a lot. Right? We don't even drink this satu liter setengah liter in one day. A lot. One jar, one stone of jar is a lot. Dan ada six jars. So that's like, if I'm doing my math right, sekitar 700 liter of water. Now, so that means mereka harus bolak balik isi itu jar dengan water. Nah, aku, aku nggak tahu pada zaman itu ada keran atau enggak, which I don't think ada keran, right? So I'm guessing mereka harus ke well untuk ngambil airnya. So mereka bolak balik, bolak balik, bolak balik isi isi itu jar dengan apa? Water. Bolak balik isi water. Dia turun bucketnya, scoop it up, fill it, uh, scoop, scoop up the water, terus taruh di jar. Turun lagi bucketnya, fill up the water, taruh di jar. Turun lagi bucketnya, fill up, fill up the bucket with water, taruh di jar. Bolak-balik, bolak-balik. Isi jarnya dengan apa? Water. You ask for wine, tapi Tuhan bilang, give me water. You pray for wine, tapi Tuhan bilang, <laughs> Isi pakai water. God, I need wine. I know. But fill up the jar with water. Thank you, Jesus. See, it's easy. Waktu, waktu you draw the liquid dari sumur yang keluar wine. It's, it's so easy to, to see that, oh, wine yang keluar. Tapi nggak, ini yang keluar, oh, water. Kalau yang keluar wine, it's easy to see that. You tahu you're doing something right. Kalau misalnya begitu, begitu you um, apa, ambil dari sumur yang keluar wine. You, it's easy, karena you know you're doing something right. You know that you're on the right track. Tapi ini pas you lagi butuh wine, Tuhan tetap suruh you draw water. It's easy to have faith when you draw the wine out of the well. Tapi when you draw water out of the well, that's when your faith is tested. It was, it was water when they 
uh, uh, fill up the bucket with uh, dari dari sumur it was water when they pour out the bucket to the jar it was water when they give it to jesus it was water when they are on the way to master of banquet but somehow it turned to wine when it touches the master of banquet's tongue it was water you missed it it was water when they scoop it up It was water when they poured it out. It was water when they brought it to Jesus. It was water when they were on the way. But the moment it touches the master of banquet, it turns to wine. So the water turns to wine when you walk in obedience with him. See, you know you butuh wine. Tuhan tahu you butuh wine. Tapi kadang the road to wine starts with water. Yes, you you know dia bakal bawa you ke palace. Tapi you nggak tahu dia bakal bawa you ke pit and prison dulu. And you're like Jesus, I thought we were going to the palace, and yet you went to the pit and prison. And and and, and ini aku belajar dari dari uh, tiga dekade aku hidup. Oh my god, tiga dekade. Ini aku belajar. Karena Tuhan kasih you des- the destination without the details. He often give you the destination, tapi lack the details. So you so 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 we know the where, tapi kita but we don't know the when and how, and most of us are right in where he's taking you, tapi we are often wrong in how he's taking you there. Tapi just because he's not taking you how you think it's supposed to be does not mean he's not taking you where he's supposed to be. Kadang you have to go through water season to get to the wine season. I know you lagi nunggu wine season, but he's asking you to walk with him in the water season. As the water walk, as the water is being delivered to the master of banquet, as you're being sanctified, as you're walking in obedience, he's gonna turn your water into wine. He's gonna turn your emptiness into fullness. When? You walk in obedience. He's gonna turn your disappointment into joy. Setiap kali you draw the water from the well, he sees it. Setiap langkah you, yang you ambil in obedience, he sees it. Setiap air mata yang you nggak tangisin, he sees it. Setiap teriakan yang you nggak utarain because you're afraid your 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 housemate bakal dengar, he hears it. When you feel like giving up, he never did. Oh. Itu kan, Di. Bisa nyanyi Dear God kan di sini, Di. Ah, kan sih. Ah. Your, your, your wine season is coming. It's coming, baby. It's coming. Your wine season is coming. See, the water turned into wine is an amazing miracle. Itu mujizat yang luar biasa. Ini the, um, the, the first sign um, of Jesus' um, miracles. Um, kalau menurut John, ada tujuh big Sains dan ini salah satunya. Ini pertama lebih cepatnya. So mujizat ini luar biasa dan mujizat ini ada signifikansi sendiri, right? Which I don't really have time to get into. But here's my question: Kenapa mereka butuh mujizat ini in the first place? Like, like, don't get me wrong. I love me some miracles, right? Miracles are amazing. Tapi aku nggak mau hidupku mengandalkan mujizat tiap hari. Like, oh my God, aku lupa belajar hari ini. Jesus, Holy Spirit, please raise up the standard in me supaya aku bisa ulangan. Oh my God, gue telat bangun. Semoga tram, tram driver-nya juga telat bangun. I need a miracle today, Jesus. No, cause, cause watch this. Some miracles are not needed when wisdom is present. <laughs> Some miracles are not needed when wisdom is present. So, so here's my question. Why did it run out in the first place? Right? So di di uh, di Bible wine biasanya melambangkan um, sukacita, joy, right? Kenapa kenapa so so kenapa you running out, kenapa you running empty in the first place? Like aku bisa bawa ini ke banyak cabang, right? Tapi generally speaking ada ada internal dan external factors yang yang bisa bikin kita running empty. Dan hari ini aku mau ngebahas tentang the the external factors, khususnya tentang relationships. No, no, I'm not talking about cemewean. God knows I'm not the expert in that. Like, like I, 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 I'm talking about, 
I'm talking about relationships in general, like family, friends, and and all that stuff. So, so why is your is your wine running out in the first place? Why is your why is your wine running out in the first place? So, so aku lihat ada at least tiga tipe orang yang bisa bikin you you, you your wine abis. Tiga tipe orang yang bisa bikin you run running empty. And maybe this is the reasons kenapa the wine in this wedding ran out. Right, so here's my here's my here's the first type of people. Yang bisa bikin your wine uh, abis. Wedding crashers. Hmm. Wedding crashers. Wedding crashers adalah orang yang gak diundang tapi tiba-tiba datang. Datang tak dijemput, pulang tak diantar. Itulah wedding crasher. <laughs> right, gak diundang. Tapi tetap datang. Terus makanan yang udah you siapin buat orang lain habis karena wedding crashes. Minuman yang udah you siapin buat orang lain tapi habis gara-gara wedding crashes. Ini orang-orang yang seharusnya minta izin untuk masuk tapi tiba-tiba langsung masuk. Ini orang-orang yang begitu ada di depan venue, right? Dia nggak kasih wedding invitationnya, terus namanya nggak ada di guest list, tapi tiba-tiba langsung masuk. Ini orang-orang yang seharusnya kita begitu dari jauh kita harus set yang namanya boundaries karena kalau misalnya mereka masuk tanpa izin mereka bakal ambil jatah makanan dan minuman orang lain kalau you nggak set up boundaries kalau misalnya you you let those wedding crashes crash in they will eat all your bread and they will drink all of your wine dan kadang wine kita habis karena kita biarin mereka masuk padahal mereka nggak ada invitation Orang-orang yang abuse you, you gotta set up boundaries. Orang-orang yang take advantage of you, you gotta set up boundaries. Orang-orang yang dekat cuma you karena because of your money, you gotta set boundaries. Orang-orang yang dekat sama you cuma karena supaya ada access to your friend, oh oh, you gotta set boundaries, man. Soalnya kalau misalnya you nggak set the boundaries, you end up saying like, man, I thought we were friends. Atau we were friends. Gua pikir kita teman dekat, tapi ternyata lu cuma mau gua cuma dekat sama gua karena duit gua, cuma karena akses gua. Ternyata you nanya gua di mana tiap hari cuma karena you mau um, backstreet kan backstreetan sama teman gue. Oh my god. You did that to me? Atau we were friends. Gua pikir gua pikir lu nanya nanya apa kabar gua karena emang you care about me. But because you wanna know where I am, supaya you wanna track my GPS, supaya you wanna, I'm not even gonna go there. Ternyata ada udang di balik bakwan. Ternyata ada udang di balik bakwan. Si si boundaries, your your boundaries, they they don't change people. Tapi it protects you from people who don't change. Your boundaries don't change people, but it protects you from the people who won't change. This is why boundaries are so important. And let me tell you, boundaries are biblical. Waktu Tuhan ciptain Adam dan Hawa, Tuhan bilang, you boleh makan semua buah di sini, kecuali buah dari pohon yang itu. Right? Tuhan bilang gitu kan? Tuhan ngajarin, if you want to live well, if you want to live free, you have to live with boundaries. Like, ini... Ini super ini ini paradoks banget sih kayak free tapi kok ada boundaries right karena here's why it's a paradox karena kalau misalnya you benar-benar free you have the option to say yes to that and no to that kalau misalnya you benar-benar free you have the option to say yes to that and no to that this is not about God restricting Adam and Eve no 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 this is about God protecting them this is not God This is not about God restricting them. This is about God protecting them. The same goes with your relationship sama sama kita. There has to be boundaries. I'm I'm I'm, I'm guessing rumah kalian di Indo ada pagernya, right? Ada pagar kan? Gunanya apa? Supaya nggak ada penyusup yang bisa uh, tiba-tiba masuk terus ambil barang-barang itu, right? Untuk kasih tanda ke orang-orang, eh, hey, ini properti yang ada di sini, ini punya gue. Di luar itu punya orang-orang lain. Tapi yang ada di sini beserta isi-isinya, this is mine. Right? So, di 
Here's, here's what the Bible says di Matthew 7 ayat 6. Dia bilang, Matthew 7 ayat 6. Um, Do not give dogs what is sacred. Do not throw your pearls to pigs. If you do, they may trample them under their feet and turn and tear you to pieces. Do not give dogs what is sacred. Do not throw your pearls to pigs. If you do, they may trample them under their feet and turn and tear you to pieces. In other words, boundaries keep the good in and the bad out. That's what boundaries do. They, watch this, they keep the pearls inside and the pigs outside. Uh oh. <laughs> they keep the pearls inside and the pigs outside. See, see, boundaries, boundaries itu bukan walls. Boundaries are not walls, they're gates. Walls keep everybody out. Tapi gates teach people where the door is. Right? Meaning, meaning it's up to you siapa yang boleh masuk ke property you. Kalau mereka nggak diundang, do not open the gate. Kalau mereka diundang, if they are on the guest list, open the gate. Open the gate. It's up to you to uh, it's up to you siapa yang bisa masuk. Kadang-kadang ada beberapa hal di property you emang 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 yang you emang emang you perlu bantuan orang untuk keluarin, untuk beresin, untuk bantu benerin and all that. We know that. Tapi kalau misalnya you udah ada cium bau-bau wedding crashers, hold them at the gate. Hold them at the gate. Soalnya, soalnya, soalnya kalau nggak, you end up saying, why is my wine running out? Apparently, they only want, they only want my wine, they only want my bread, but they don't want no relationship with me, right? So that's wedding crashers. Yang kedua, wedding surprises. Koden, bukannya wedding crashers sama wedding surprises sama? Well, uh, iya enggak. Wedding crashers biasanya itu emang um, harus jadi. You sengaja nggak ngundang, <laughs> like bubu, yang ini gimana? Ya, ya, yang ini masukin. Yang itu gimana? Oh ya, ya ini ini teman baikku. Kalau yang ini, no, ini, no, 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 yang ini jangan masukin. Bukan yang jangan masukin yang ini. Like, like, bukan bukan berarti aku nggak sayang sama dia. Cuman aku nggak mau dia di sini aja. Like, I, 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 I love everyone equally, but I treat them differently. Now, sebelum you bilang, ih, 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 koden jahat. Well, guess what, bubu. Jesus did this. Why do you think Jesus only have 12 disciples? He loves everyone equally. Tapi he treat them differently. Right? Dan kadang ada beberapa surprises yang bisa bikin anggur you habis. Yes, bahkan bahkan good surprises bisa bikin wine you habis. Kalau you nggak pinter, kalau you nggak pinter-pinter ngatur wine you. Kadang good blessings can cause bad stress. Yes, finally, lulus kuliah. Ha, ternyata cari kerja susah ya. Wah. Yes, finally, dapat kerja. Oh my God, but it's a 12-hour shift. Terus, terus the people that I interact with, oh my God, they are, ha, harus ngatur zenku. Ha. Right? Good blessings can cause bad stress. Kalau saya enggak. Pinter-pinter ngatur wine nya Like, like, I, I, I notice kita, kita punya tendensi adalah Begitu kita dapat blessings, right? Kita share di FC, kita kayak, oh my god, God is so good, God is so good God is good, all the time, all the time, God is good Terus share, share di FC, you kayak, when God this, this, God did that, and all that Terus begitu you step into it Right? Begitu, begitu you masuk ke kerjaan you Mulai itu Di FC, aduh man, gila um, Kerjaan gue, nyah, 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 bla, 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 segala macam Which, which I'm not, I'm not, I'm not minimizing your situation, but we have to learn how to manage our surprises. Kadang, tadinya this was a testimony. This was a testimony tadinya. Tapi sekarang it's about God testing you. What used to be this is this is a testimony for God. Jadi this is a testing from God. Uh oh. This used to be a testimony. Sekarang this this is this is you telling people, oh no no, this is God testing me. So quiet in here. Wedding surprises, right? Wedding surprises. Life is so full of wedding surprises, full of unpredictabilities. And whether you like it or not, life is full of 
surprises. The unpredictable is in inevitable. Your job security is unpredictable. Your relationships is unpredictable. Your finances are unpredictable. Mau kata you bikin plan dari A sampai AA kalau di Excel sheet, right? You bakal ketemu yang namanya wedding surprises. Dan kalau semuanya harus sesuai sama plan you, kalau semuanya harus sesuai dengan rencana you for you to prosper, then your prospering will paralyze. Kalau semuanya harus sesuai sama your plan for you to prosper, then your prospering will paralyze. That's why we gotta learn how to manage our surprises. Kadang-kadang mismanaged surprises can produce stress. We have to learn how to make adjustments here and there. So, I think, I think kadang, I think, I think kadang kita bukan stress karena the surprises themselves, tapi karena kita resist that there is surprises in the first place. Like, man, I thought I would be further away by now. I, I thought I would get a job by now. I thought gue punya graduation bakal full of people. Tapi ternyata I have to do my graduation at Zoom. I, I thought, I thought, I thought. See, bukan berarti kita gak boleh care. Bukan berarti kita gak punya, gak punya plan and all that. No, no, no. But I think a lot of us, me included, we idolize our plan. We idolize our outcome. Tapi kita gak make room for surprises. Kita gak make space for godly surprises. You know who did make space for surprises? Abraham. Dude was chilling and relaxing, living his life, 80 years old, right? Udah punya um, um, company yang besar, segala macam. Terus tiba-tiba Tuhan bilang, surprise, you're gonna have a baby. <laughs> right? Moses. Dia lagi jalan-jalan sore, right? Sama dia punya um, 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 domba. Terus tiba-tiba, Moses, Moses. Right? Sir, prizes. Right? You know who literally makes made space for the surprises? Mary. He literally made space for surprises. He put the surprise, and she put the surprise in her belly. We've got to make space for surprises. Karena kadang, karena kadang your setup comes from your surprises. Karena kadang your smile comes from surprising people. Maybe God is asking us, hey, instead of you berenang, ngelawan arus, what? get on the boat, drop the sail, and let my wind take you. Make space for surprises. Make space for me. Right? Wedding, so that's, so that's um, um, number two. Wedding crashers, wedding surprises. Here's my last one. Wedding opportunists. Wedding opportunists. So, wedding opportunists adalah orang-orang yang emang you undang, right? You mau mereka ada dalam hidup you. You mau mereka datang. You don't mind sama kehadiran mereka. Tapi you nggak tahu kalau you spend tujuh hari berturut-turut sama mereka, they're like, who's this guy? Who's that girl? Like, like, like mereka lihat tamu-tamu, lihat, mereka lihat um, tamu-tamu di, di wedding, dan mereka tahu this is a seven day feast, this is a seven day event, then, and, and they be, they be all up in your wine section, dan terus mereka kayak, hey bro, kurang banyak nih wine-nya. Ya iyalah, lu yang minum semua. Hey, ini bread-nya melempem. Tapi lu makan terus, right? Kalau kalau you pernah punya housemate, you know what I'm talking about. Dia nggak pernah chip in deterjen, right? Nggak pernah nyuci, nggak bajunya selalu tinggalin di dryer. Oh, you know what I'm talking. Kalau misalnya the housemate ada di sebelah you, look straight into the look straight into the camera, dan bilang I don't I don't know what Cody is talking about. It's not you, it's not you, no, it's not you. Look straight into the camera, like. You udah kenal sama dia udah lama, udah patah pas tinggal serumah sama oh my god ternyata right terus udah sign list lagi selama dua tahun <laughs> uh, ini ini ciri-ciri um, wedding opportunist 
you've been making deposits into their lives, tapi they've been making withdrawals from you. You've been making deposits into their lives, tapi mereka nggak pernah deposit into their life and they always make withdrawals from. You. Mereka withdraw, withdraw, withdraw. You, you kayak mereka punya ATM. Withdraw terus, withdraw terus, withdraw terus, withdraw terus sampai akhirnya you file for bankruptcy because you ran out of money. Right? So di di Galatia 6 ayat 2 dibilang begini. Carry each other's burdens and in this way you will fulfill the law of Christ. Terus ayat 5-nya kita jump to um, ayat 5 bilang begini. Each one should carry their own load. I'll repeat that again. Carry each other burdens and in this way you will fulfill the law of Christ. Terus ayat 5 bilang begini. Each one should carry their own load. Now, kalau you nggak ngerti ayat ini, atau you salah langkap first ini, you'd be like helping all people, which is awesome, right? I, I want you to help people. We want to help people, right? Tapi kalau, tapi terus, you somehow, you find yourself running empty, and you nggak ngerti kenapa. Burdens di sini, maksudnya boulders, like big rock. Carry each other's burdens. Burdens sih maksudnya kayak boulders. Di bahasa aslinya, it means boulders, like a big rock. Kayak sesuatu yang you nggak bisa tanggung sendiri. Tapi pas dibilang, each one should carry their own load, load di sini artinya backpack. Like, like, like artinya something yang seharusnya mereka bisa angkat sendiri. Mereka bisa pindahin sendiri. Ini stuff yang you harus carry sendiri. Ini This is your day-to-day responsibilities. So, a boulder means something yang mereka nggak bisa angkat sendiri, mereka nggak bisa pindahin sendiri. A backpack means mereka yang bisa carry sendiri dan harus carry sendiri. So, wedding opportunists are people who want us to carry their boulder, but don't want to carry their own backpack. They want us to carry their boulder, but they don't want to carry their own backpack. Bubu, let me tell you, God calls me. God calls me to help you with with what you cannot do. He does not call me to be to be responsible for what you will not do. Tuhan nggak Tuhan panggil aku untuk bantuin kamu, untuk bantuin apa yang you nggak bisa lakuin. Dia nggak panggil kita untuk bantuin apa yang mereka nggak mau lakuin. Then some people treat their backpack like a boulder. Some people treat their backpack like a boulder. And there you are carrying your your own backpack and their boulder and their backpack. You're carrying your own backpack and their boulder and their backpack. No wonder you're running out of juice. No wonder you're running out of wine. You are being responsible but you're miserable. They are irresponsible, tapi they be like, they, they be chilling di Snapchat, they be like talking, they be like Instagram story, God is good, God is good, is good. You pushing wine you uh, uh, abis, karena you gak sadar ternyata ada wine vampire in your life. Karena, Karena you you you're being responsible for someone else's irresponsibility. <laughs> you're being responsible for someone else's irresponsibility. See, we are responsible to one another, tapi we are responsible for us. Meaning, we do for other what they cannot do for themselves. Ini yang Jesus lakuin buat kita, right? Dia dia lakuin apa yang kita nggak bisa lakuin sendiri. He saved us. We cannot save ourselves. So we are responsible to one another, but for us, for us artinya kita harus ambil ownership of some aspects di hidup kita yang ya kita harus bilang kayak oh that's that's my that's my load. We have to re- we have to be responsible for our own feelings. We have to be responsible for our own attitudes. We have to be, we have to be responsible for our own behaviors. So let me free all of you lovely people. We have to determine 
what our backpack is and where their backpack begins. We have to determine where our backpack is and where their, their backpack begins. Soalnya kalau enggak, your wine is running out. Your wine bakal habis. You will be running out of juice. Self-care is not selfish. Okay? It's stewardship. Self-care is not selfish. It's, to, it's stewardship. I'll, I'll, I'll close with this. Mary, uh, this, is, this is what I love about Mary. Oh, let, let me just say this first. You nggak bisa nunggu orang lain untuk restore your wine. Mereka nggak tahu you're running out of wine. Right? Mereka nggak tahu you're running out of juice. Mereka nggak tahu you're running out of wine. Then what I love about Mary adalah respon dia. You know, you know what she did when her wine, when the wine is running out? Dia bawa masalah ini to the only one who can solve it. Karena Mary ambil langkah pertama untuk make her request known to Jesus, the wine is upgraded. Notice aku bilang upgraded bukan restored. Karena the Bible says the wine is better than the previous wine. Karena Mary ambil langkah untuk serahin semua ini ke Jesus, the disciple believed in him. And watch this. The Bible says he revealed his glory. Waktu Tuhan upgrades your wine, he revealed his glory. Waktu Tuhan upgrades your joy, He revealed His glory. Waktu Tuhan upgrade your wisdom, He revealed His glory. The question is, mau nggak you bawa ke Tuhan the request? Are you going to let Him upgrade your wine before it runs out? Are you going to let Him upgrade your wine? So kalau kalau misalnya you nggak upgrade, kalau misalnya you nunggu sampai your wine abis. You have nothing in your tank, right? And the principle adalah what overflows spills. So kalau misalnya nggak ada nggak ada in your tank, nggak ada wine yang keluar apa? Nggak ada joy, nggak ada sukacita yang keluar apa? If there's no wine, it's probably wrath. So are you going to let him upgrade your wine? Come to Jesus, let him upgrade your wine. Bila hati terasa berat, up, come to Jesus. No matter how small this is, no matter how small things might seem like, oh my God, kayak Tuhan nggak terlalu peduli lah sama ini segala macam. This is not a big deal. No, no, bring it up to Jesus, right before you're running empty. Okay, can I pray for you guys? Father God, we thank you for today. We thank you for your love. Thank you for your mercy. Um, Help us to always datang ke engkau ya Bapak. Um, bahkan sebelum kita punya wine abis, supaya kami punya wisdom untuk um, decipher where, um, um, to, to put people in their place, supaya kami enggak, um, um, supaya our wine enggak abis, supaya uh, we, know, we know what we should carry, we know what, you know, we, we know what um, orang mana yang kita harus bantu ya Tuhan. Give us, give us the wisdom. Um, Because we wanna, we we wanna, we wanna walk with an overflow of wine, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for today. Um, hey, if you're watching today, um, di mana pun you berada, uh, dan you feel like you wanna have that merry moment, di mana you come to Jesus. This is your come to Jesus moment. Um, you feel like, man, I'm running, I'm running empty. Um, um, I've always been running empty. Gak pernah ada wine-nya di dalam hidupku. So If this is you, um, if you want to surrender your life to Jesus, whoever is watching, if you feel like, 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 like if you feel like uh, Tuhan dengan talking to you and you feel like this is the day um, to nyerahin hidup you to Jesus, um, let's just um, pray. Uh, just repeat this prayer after me. Um, Tuhan, hari ini aku serahkan hidupku dalam tanganmu. Um, terima kasih kau sudah mati untukku. Terima kasih kalau sudah bangkit untukku juga ya Tuhan. Change me from the inside out, from here on out. I'm no longer the same. I'm no longer a slave. I am your son. I am your daughter, Jesus. 
I surrender my life to you from today until you come for the second time. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Hey, let's um, angkatan kita menerima berkat dari Bapa. Um, terima kasih berkat dari Bapa, Putra dan Roh Kudus, pernyataannya, hikmatnya, selalu ada beserta kita. Um, his peace, His wisdom, um, His joy, um, boleh selalu ada beserta kita dari sekarang sampai selama lamanya. Semua yang sudah menerima berkat Tuhan sama-sama katakan, Amen. Sunday. Ibi 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 Sunday. Sunday semua. Sunday semuanya. Sunday.